The Farting Foodie Adventures in Digestion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show that's sure to make you laugh and learn at the same time. Today, we're going to tackle a topic that we've all experienced, yet it still manages to make us chuckle like kids and feel a bit embarrassed to talk about, flatulence. Yes, you heard it right, we're going to be talking about passing gas, breaking wind, and everything in between. In this informative and hilarious video, we'll explore the ins and outs of this fragrant topic and answer the question on everyone's mind, why do we fart? So, fellow fart aficionados, sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about cutting the cheese, letting it rip, and breaking wind. Trust me, this video is going to be a gas. What is flatulence? Flatulence, commonly known as passing gas or farting, is a normal and natural bodily process that occurs when the digestive system breaks down food in the intestines. The process of digestion involves the breakdown of food into smaller molecules, which are then absorbed by the body for energy and nutrition. During digestion, bacteria in the intestines help to break down certain carbohydrates that the body cannot digest, such as lactose in dairy products. This process produces gas as a byproduct, which can lead to flatulence. Other factors that can contribute to flatulence include swallowing air while eating or drinking, and certain medical conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome or celiac disease. While flatulence is a natural bodily function, it can be a source of embarrassment or discomfort for some people. In some cultures, passing gas is considered impolite or inappropriate in public settings. However, suppressing flatulence can lead to discomfort or pain, as well as other gastrointestinal issues such as bloating or constipation. Overall, while flatulence may be a source of humor or discomfort, it is a normal and natural part of the digestive process that serves an important role in the body. What causes flatulence? Flatulence is primarily caused by the presence of gas in the digestive system, which is produced by the breakdown of food by bacteria in the large intestine. The gases released during flatulence include nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and sometimes methane. Certain foods are more likely to cause flatulence than others. Foods that are high in fiber, such as beans, lentils, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and onions, are particularly known to cause flatulence. This is because the body has difficulty digesting fiber, and when it reaches the large intestine, bacteria break it down and produce gas as a byproduct. Similarly, foods that contain sugar alcohols, such as sorbitol, mannitol, and xylitol, are also known to cause flatulence. These sugar substitutes are commonly found in sugar-free gum, candy, and other products marketed as low-calorie or sugar-free. In addition to dietary factors, other factors can contribute to flatulence. Swallowing air while eating or drinking, such as when drinking carbonated beverages or chewing gum, can lead to excess gas in the digestive system. Certain medical conditions, such as irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, or lactose intolerance, can also cause flatulence as a symptom. Overall, while flatulence is a normal bodily function, excessive flatulence or discomfort associated with it may indicate an underlying medical condition or dietary issue. Maintaining a balanced and varied diet, avoiding excessive consumption of gas-producing foods, and practicing good eating habits can help to reduce flatulence and promote digestive health. How to reduce flatulence? There are several strategies that can be effective in reducing flatulence. Identify and avoid gas-producing foods. Certain foods, such as beans, broccoli, cabbage, onions, and carbonated drinks, are known to produce gas. Keeping a food diary can help you identify which foods are triggering your flatulence, and then you can make an effort to avoid them. Eat slowly and chew thoroughly. Eating too quickly or not chewing your food enough can lead to excess gas production. Taking your time while eating and chewing your food thoroughly can help to break it down more efficiently and reduce gas production. Drink plenty of water. Drinking water can help to flush out excess gas from the digestive system. Aim to drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. Exercise regularly. Exercise helps to stimulate the digestive system and promotes bowel movements, which can help to reduce gas and bloating. Try over-the-counter medications. Over-the-counter medications such as semethicone can help to break up gas bubbles in the digestive system, making it easier for them to be passed out of the body. Reduce stress. Stress can have a negative impact on digestion and lead to excess gas production. Engage in stress-reducing activities such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises. Consider probiotics. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that can help to balance the gut microbiome and improve digestion. 
They are available in supplement form or can be found in fermented foods such as yogurt, kefir, and sauerkraut. Overall, reducing flatulence often involves making lifestyle changes such as adjusting your diet, staying hydrated, exercising regularly, and managing stress levels. If your flatulence is persistent or accompanied by other symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, or constipation, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional to rule out any underlying medical conditions. Well, folks, that's a wrap on flatulence. It may not be the sweetest smelling topic, but it's a fact of life. Remember, it's important to release gas to avoid discomfort or pain. And if you want to reduce the amount of gas your body produces, you can make dietary and lifestyle changes. As for social etiquette, one of the most important rules of farting is to always try to hold it until you are in a private place, such as a bathroom or your own home. However, there may be times when you cannot hold it back, and this is where things can get awkward. If you feel a fart coming on in public, try to find a private place to release it, such as a toilet. If this is not possible, let it out quietly and discreetly, or cover it with a cough or sneeze. Alternatively, you can leave the scene quickly. Until then, don't forget to hit that notification button, like and subscribe for more interesting discussions. Who knows, maybe next time we'll tackle a less pungent topic. See you in the next video.